Let's watch a preview from part one of the ABC After School Special, Summer Switch. You ever wondered, Dust, how much fun it would be to be an adult? Like my dad. Has a neat job, travels all over, meets movie stars. Nothing to do but play. Swimming, fishing, nothing to worry about. Nobody bugging you, telling you what to do. I'd give, give anything, anything to be in his shoes. This is going to be the worst summer of my life. It's going to be a disaster. This whole trip is going to be a disaster. Alfred, you'll be safer here. I have a feeling to tell you apart at camp. Camp Sunawissakit. Nothing but jocks for miles around. I'm going to get cremated. She's going to hate me. Will you relax? It's not every day you get a new boss. Especially, especially someone you've never even met. From what I hear, this Stephanie Marshak is the coldest fish in filmdom. Nobody's job at Galaxy Films is safe. So while you're off in Nevada... Arizona. Studying the Apaches... Navajos. I'm going to be served up to a shark in Los Angeles. Abe Face, how bad can it be? It's easy for you to say. You're going as a counselor. Well, Dad went when he was a kid. Didn't seem to do him too much harm. But I'm not Dad. Listen, Ape Face, you were the one who wanted to go in the first place. But if you're going to start out like this, hating it before you even get there, you better tell Dad right now. Tell him what? This son's a loser. Is this time forceful enough? Your plane's not till this afternoon. Why don't you worry about it then? It's time I change my image. Become tougher. More of a hard nose. It's the only way to the top, Ellen. I need to think you believe a word of what you're saying, Bill. The bus is now departing Minneaha from gate 32. Well, here we are. Yep, here we are. Oh, uh, how was your last day of school, anyway? It, it was pretty good. I, I I cut off my little finger and fed it to the guinea pigs. Mm. Fine, fine. How do you like that? A million two at the box office. Stop your 
course it won't be. You try smuggling a tape recorder in the camp. Look, Mozart, Beethoven, and my socks are full of sonatas. <laughs> think he's gonna like camp? Any reason to think he won't? I think he's dead. I'm not sure he looks so happy, though. Uh, ben could get along anywhere. He's a great kid. Hasn't got a problem in the world. I don't think he likes me, that's all. I mean, I know he loves me and everything, but I think I sort of bore him. He's so forceful and unafraid. I'm such a coward. I think he likes you. That's why the summer is so important. Going to his old camp and everything. He was really happy when I told him I wanted to go. I hope you're right. You'll have a fine time. The great outdoors, no one to hassle you. Kids don't have it too bad, if you ask me. You ever wondered, Doc, how much fun it would be to be an adult? Like my dad. Has a neat job, travels all over, meets movie stars. Nothing to do but play. Swimming, fishing, nothing to worry about. Nobody bugging you, telling you what to do. I'd, I'd give anything to be in his shoes. Are you okay? I'm fine. Oh, honey, are you all right? Yeah, sure. N no problem. But what am I... That's not my voice. Why am I talking with Dad's voice? Mom? What's Mom doing here? Where's Doc? Wait a minute. How come I'm taller than Mom? Where'd that pipe come from? I can't for the life of me. Why do I sound like Ben? What happened to my voice? Doc, where'd he come from? Where's Ellen? Where am I? And why am I looking this little shrimp in the eye? Not only do I have Dad's voice, I've got his body. But if I'm in Dad's body, does that mean... That Ben's in mine? Will you behave yourself and stop trolling in your seat? Okay, what will it be? Can I have that donut and some of that red stuff? Does your mother know you eat like this? What are you two, some part of a comedy team? Huh. Give me one coffee black, the donut, and some of that raspberry bilge. Strawberry. Now listen, Eight Face, let's get one thing straight. You can tell no one about this. No one, do you understand? How come? How come? Because people would think you were stark, raving mad. And the little men in the white jackets would come and lock you up for life. Enjoy. Harry, 86 of the place. Got here, the oh, and there's something else. Appearances to the contrary, you are not all grown up. You're just a little boy in temporary possession of my body. And as soon as I can get you out of it, you know. Look, in the meantime, here's what we're going to do. We're going to find your mother. And you're going to tell her that you're taking me with you to California. Well, what about camp? You said the best times of your life were spent in camp. Camp? Camp? Do you think I'm going to camp while you trot off to L.A. to meet my new boss? Just sending you to that shark in sheep's clothing? Knowing that her opinion of me might well determine the outcome of my entire career. Like it or not, buddy, I'm going with you. Guess who this is? Bet ya I can. Where have you been anyway? Tell her now. Tell me what, darling. Uh, the thing is, uh, I've changed my mind about wanting to go to camp. Dan! Uh, hold it, hold it. I mean, uh, 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 I've decided to take him, a uh, Ben that is, uh, to California with me, his dad, because he's changed his mind about wanting to go to camp. You can! You can! Well, what are you talking about? Last call! Let's get out! It's a lunacy to switch everything around at the last minute. Say something, Ben. You're getting on that bus. This was all agreed two months ago. I'm not going. You can't force me. I will not. Enough of this nonsense. Put me down. Relax, little guy. You're going to love camp. It'll make a man of you. I am a man, you pig-eyed Ben. Now don't worry, folks. We haven't lost one yet, and don't intend to start now. Put me down. Help. I'm in the wrong body. I've heard as much trouble with a camper since.
since your folks sent you away. <laughs> I guess it runs in the family, huh? <laughs> Listen, Tommy, as soon as you get to Beverly Hills, don't forget your card, credit cards, your wallet, and your briefcase. Flight 1023 on Ken Kennedy Airport. If you have any problems, call Ty Donovan. You met him at the house. You remember Ty. And whatever you do, don't cry. I want to solemn promise that you will get behind the wheel of a car. Don't forget your credit cards and your briefcase. Oh, Flight 1023. We're going to California, buddy. Uh, darling? You're going to miss your plane. Come on. Bill Andrews, Galaxy Films. I understand there's trouble over there. Care to tell me about it? Uh, about the trouble over at Galaxy? Uh, trouble? <laughs> Stephanie Marshak. Honestly, Mr. Andrews, from script girl to president in five years, <laughs> must be doing something right, huh? <laughs> What do you think they call her around the office? Beats me. Miss Marshak? I understand she's nothing but a pushover. A cream puff. <laughs> cream puff? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but what do you think they really call her? How about killer cream puff? Killer cream puff? <gasps> Is that the right answer? Oh, that is fabulous. Just fabulous. I just sort of made it up. <laughs> well, you are nothing short of divine. Uh, how does it look to you? Hope for better, but it's exactly the same. Huh? As it always was. Ice cold showers, moldy tents, moldy food, black flies, mosquitoes, bloodsuckers, and bats. Can you tell me where the pool is? Sorry, sir. The pool's closed. What for? Polluted? For the night. Oh, come on. Alfred and me were all ready to go in. Well, you shouldn't be. Sir, the management does not consider swimming attire appropriate for the lobby. Well, the, man <clears throat> well, the management is dead right. Uh, swimming attire is much more appropriate for a swimming pool. Well, so could you... Sir... The management does not permit swimming attire in the lobby. Is that clear? You want me to take it off? <laughs> Help, Pat! Linderman! Freebies! I wonder what the malaria rate right around here is. And to think I let you talk.
talk me into coming here. Shut up. I'm trying to hear what cabin I'm in, so just shut up. Charming chap. Cabin seven. in the way. Have a nine. Brian Hitziger, put that boy down. Ah! Greenberg, Nasika, Craddock. Lots of fun, huh? Here I am, a successful movie executive, reliving my least favorite memories. While my son, disguised as me, is gallivanting about Beverly Hills, ruining my career. I've got to get out of here. That carbohydrate festival breakfast. Andrews, around here you eat it when it's hot or for lunch when it's not. Do you mind? I'm talking to L.A., you know. L.A.? I want time and charges on this one. Considering the thousand dollar tab, I would think Camp Suno wish a kid could pop for one long distance call. Ape face. Ape face? What kind of a name is that for a kid anyway? If you saw him when he was first born, you wouldn't ask. Oh, ben, Ben, this, ben, ben, this is your son, this, Ben. This is crazy. Quiet! Daddy, please wake up. This is important. Oh, I'm tired. I want to go back to sleep. You've got to get me out of here because I need you and you need me. But, Daddy. Daddy? He Christmas. You call him daddy? He calls you daddy? Uh -huh. Well, let's all call him daddy. Listen, daddy. Your young'un here's taking himself a spell of homesickiness. Dragged your little gal out of breakfast to call you. Is she mad? I don't know. Ask her yourself. I'm not mad. I am outraged. The ape has been acting like a complete maniac. But don't you worry, daddy. We'll shape him up. Look. Either you tell Captain Wilkins to put me on the next available flight out to L.A., or I'll throw myself off a mountaintop! <clears throat> Kids talking hogwash, Daddy. We've never had a suicide yet. So you just go on back to sleep with a clear conscience. Nighty-night. Nighty-night to you, too, sir. Do yourself a favor and stop worrying about Dad. And will you take that stupid pipe out of your mouth? That's easy for you to say. How much will you love him when he can't pay the rent? The food bills, your tuition, the insurance, your allowance. Andrews! In a minute! Now, Captain Wilkin wants you down here spit spot on the double. What, he was punctual flunky? Terry? Annabelle. You two know each other? You're from the orthodontist. Your teeth look great. Yours too. What happened to Spit Spot on the double? In a minute. What's a father to do? Don't get me wrong, I'm no prude. But when I was his age, I had better things to do than hanging around orthodontist's office picking up girls. <laughs> Boy, that guy's fat. <laughs> His wife's pretty chubby, too. Horrible. I mean, it's horrible. I mean, it's really, really bad. Oh, boy, breakfast! If you looked out your window, if you can see anything, call me. I mean, I can't see five inches in front of my face. I gotta act like a grown-up. I gotta act like a grown-up. Oh, boy, fries! I'm sorry. Here, have some. There's too many for me, anyways. Dean Kraus for today's weather update. And now it's time to find out what's got Hollywood up buzz. Peggy Horn here with today's tidbits from Tinseltown. 
Hey, that's the lady from the elevator. Over at Galaxy Film, the home of some of this summer's biggest box office turkeys, a certain exec just in from the Apple gave Peggy the scoop on Studio Prez Stephanie Marshak. Guess what Miss Marshak's being called behind her back? I don't know. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. The Killer Cream Puff. <laughs> Sizzle, Steph. Sizzle. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Dad's gonna kill me! I'm only in his body one day and already I've got him fired!